Welcome to this weekly episode at Bonsai On. Today we will look at refreshing this Satsuki Azalea who needs a trim. And what I will address, especially in this edition of Bonsai On, is adding space in between branches. We have a tendency to clump our trees sometimes, make it all one big canopy, more looking like a bush in a trim garden than a natural tree. And this is a very important with bonsai, that you have this view into the branches and sometimes through the tree, so you get, get that dip, depth, so you get that extra feeling of looking into a landscape in a natural tree. And if you do not have those open spaces, we will just have a bushy plant and not a bonsai looking like an old tree in nature. Therefore, negative spaces, as we call this the phenomenon, opening space in between, it, you can reassemble it or compare it a little to watercolor paintings, the traditional European watercolor paintings, where you have a motif, then you have a white area, a piece of paper that is not painted, and you have to use your imagination to fill out the rest. It is a bit the same with negative spaces at a tree. You begin to sense the landscape, get the feeling of the nature surrounding it, even when you can't see it because we are doing it uh, or forming a tree that gives that uh, sensation. It's a wrong word because we're not using our nose for that but gives that sense and expression of a natural piece in nature. Therefore, negative spaces are so important. And you can also put that up when you are looking at a bonsai or showing bonsai display. You have a white area or black if you're using a black backdrop. But the point is you have an empty area where you have to use your imagination to fill out the rest of the landscape. So let's dig into this Satsuki Azalea. We are needing to trim it, we are needing to wire it a little because this piece has been growing for some years now and needs some attention. What is produced in 2021 is now showing up as flowers in 2022. Therefore, when I am beginning to prune some of those branches, I'm very careful not to remove branches with flower pots at the end because I will lose that flower for the full season it will rarely be replaced with us. The sun or the sun have come forward. Next thing to think about after lowering those branches at the left side is and right is to lower some of the other branches and add some spacing in between, exactly like we have been talked about at the lower branches, but less the nearer we come to the top. So we have the biggest spaces at the bottom and narrower and narrower at the top ideally. But as always with bonsai there are exceptions and you should not never take that rigidly. There can be a lot of artistic reasons or natural reasons to have bigger spaces at other places. Use your imagination to determine how this should be done.